So it's officially like that time of year where you gotta wear a sweater in the morning and the sweater in the evening. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be a really hot day today, but it's chilly this morning, so that's where we're at over here on PEI. But wait till I tell you guys about last night. So last night, my brother-in-law came over, which is Trevor's brother, and that was fine. We had a good night. And then as I was the DD, so I was going to drive him home. And this was at, I don't know, this was at like midnight 12 30 so it was it was late it was dark and uh, <laughs> i have this thing whenever it's dark out in my yard i've just had too many experiences with wild animals raccoons fox skunks you name it they'll come to my yard because i'm snow white anyway we were about to go outside and i was like oh i hope there's no skunks because we've had a skunk in our yard every single night all summer like our whole yard is torn up from this skunk and i think it's the same skunk i film it all the time and like send it to my like family group chat and i'm like oh my god he's back anyway besides the point obviously no one really wants to encounter a skunk so i obviously look out for it every time i pull into my driveway or every time i leave in the evening if it's dark so last night i'm like okay we got to make sure there's no skunk in the yard and like trevor and his brother were like <laughs> like laughing about it i'm like no there's actually a skunk that's like there every day so i'm just gonna like make sure there's no skunk so i was like peeking out the window didn't see a skunk anywhere i opened up the door and <laughs> literally facing me is a freaking raccoon a raccoon i was like slam the door and I can't even speak like Trevor and his brother were like what what and I was like oh, oh, a raccoon, a raccoon. and they were kind of like is she joking or is there really a raccoon and I was like there's a raccoon raccoon so Trevor and his brother both go out all tough and I'm like be careful be careful because I don't know if you guys know but the garbage can is like right by the door you know what I mean kind of somewhat by our garage door our door you guys know you've seen it but he was in the garbage like he wasn't in the garbage at that time. He was like next to the garbage can. So Trevor and his brother go out and they're like making all this noise, trying to scare the raccoon. And I was just there like trying to catch my breath. Cause like I laugh about it now, but it is my biggest fear. Like wild animals, any animal in the wild that is not like a house pet. I'm terrified of. <laughs> oh, they get him scared off. They were just like making noise and he kind of ran off. Trevor grabbed one of Alex's balls. He, Alex has multiple balls out in the driveway. He has a basketball, a tennis ball, a ball hockey ball, like all those sorts of things. So Trevor grabs one of the balls and takes it into the car. They're like, okay, Jacqueline, it's fine. Like you can come out. The raccoon's gone. And when I tell you, I literally ran from the, the door to the car. I was like, <laughs> the, Trevor and his brother were like, okay, so that's fine. We get in the car and I drive him home and then Trevor and I come drive back home and I'm pulling into the driveway and Trevor's like, see, he's gone. And he had like the ball in case he was like right in our driveway or something and Trevor would have to try to like scare him off. I don't know what he was going to do with the ball. Truthfully, Trevor at that moment thought he was very tough. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, the raccoon's not, there's no skunks and the raccoon didn't come back. Anyways, right before I turn off my car lights, I see the garbage can kind of make a, like the top of the garbage can kind of like flutter up and down. I was like, wait. So I was like, what? I'm like, the garbage can. And he's like, what? I was like, it's moving, like the top of it. And so we just kept the lights on on the car because it was like shining onto the garbage cans. And we like waited a second and sure enough, the raccoon was in the garbage like in the garbage can so like we wouldn't have known because he was we couldn't see him and then we were like oh so trevor's like oh, making all this noise on the car and then the raccoon like pops out of the garbage can and he just kind of like stares at us and then he like hobbles away and i was like no no this is the worst situation to be in for me right now and i was so scared I was so scared. So then Trevor, like, he, the raccoon was gone. So then Trevor was, like, standing out like this. Like, when I tell you, he was standing like this, like, trying to make himself so big. <laughs> Trevor's like this. He's like, okay, 
Okay, Jacqueline, you can go. You can go. Run into the house. <laughs> like this like literally like this right like standing all like oh it was so funny i was trying to run in the house but trevor doing this was like getting in my way he was trying to like guard me from this raccoon that's already run away he was trying to like guard me like this. but he was getting in my way and i was like would you would you move but, and he's like i'm just pretending you are guarding the door. I cannot get in. <laughs> oh, you had to be there. But he was just there like, and Trevor is like, he's had a few drinks. So he's like really thinking he's doing something. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I go in the house, but Trevor was not done. He's like, I want to make sure this raccoon doesn't come back. So I was like, be careful. And he's like, what do you think he's going to do? And I was like, that's the thing. I don't know. I just pictured the worst case scenario. Like, just come inside the house. So Trevor, I'll show you. I'll show you. This is the, this is the situation. He busted open the garbage, the bag in the garbage can. Took out some of this stuff. This was all in this one. This is the bin he was actually in. So we got to clean that up in a minute but so trevor took alex's hockey stick and like put it through so that he wasn't able to like lift the thing anymore but this was the bin he was actually in and it was shut like this and then it like kind of like flayed open and that's how we knew i'm still a little nervous around that area not gonna lie do you know what i love i'm already getting messages from people giving me advent calendar ideas <laughs> I love that so much. Oh my gosh. This was the time of year last year where I was starting to think of advent calendars. Like, I think my David's tea one actually arrived in September. I don't have that one ordered yet, but that's the only one I know for sure that I'm doing this year. But the rest I'll leave obviously a surprise. But. I think that's so fun. Some of you guys have like messaged me links to different advent calendars and stuff. So I'm really going to have to try to decide what kind of advent calendars I want to do this year for Vlogmas. Still so long away, but in the same sense, we're already like mid-September here. <laughs> yeah, like pretty much mid-September. So we've had the most lazy day ever. It's already like supper time. And we've done nothing <laughs> at all. Well, the kids the kids had plans and stuff. But Trevor and I, we did not do anything today at all. Like, I didn't clean nothing. I have to clean. Like, there's laundry and stuff and <sighs> dishes and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just not doing it. <laughs> so, we're actually going ahead to my brother-in-law's birthday. So, that's where we're heading tonight. And I think we're having... I think pizza or i'm not sure we're having some sort of supper over there so i'm not cooking tonight so that's good although i do miss sunday dinners a lot and mom's like i'm bringing them back don't worry i'm gonna do sunday dinners but she's been so busy like she's at a family reunion today and anyway she's just a busy woman she's like i don't even know because my mom's retired right she's like i don't even know what i did when i worked like she's like i just don't have time for anything i find myself like the old days at Walmart on Sunday evening. Uh, we just finished with my brother-in-law's birthday and it was really good. It was really, really nice. So anyways, I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, there's school tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so rusty. I don't have anything for breakfast in the morning and I don't have anything to pack the kids for lunches tomorrow. I was like, oh no, <laughs> so I'm at Walmart uh, on a Sunday night and I could have done this today because I literally didn't do anything all day and here I am <laughs> Sunday night I also got gas gas is going down in price it was $61 to fill my car like I was on like empty empty and $61 and I feel like I came on here earlier in the summer and it was like I don't know how much I said it cost to fill my car I'll have to look back maybe 80 or something but gas is going down it um so that was, that was good. <laughs> so I was like, oh wow, that didn't cost as much as I thought it would. 
Uh, but yeah, I gotta go in and just pick up a few things. I actually, I think I'm gonna actually do like grocery groceries tomorrow, but I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> and like, I, you know what, you know what's so bad is part of me, like I feel anxious because I have to go home when it's gonna be pitch black and I'm scared the raccoon's gonna be there. Isn't that bad? That's, I'm actually really scared of that. So I told Trevor, I was like, I'm gonna call you when I'm in the driveway and you come out and get me because I'm too scared. He's like, oh yeah, well, so... Anyways, I'm going to go into Walmart. Hopefully I can find, hopefully not everything's gone. And it looks like a few other people had this idea. The parking lot's actually quite busy. <laughs> He's going to save me. Thank you. <laughs> Trevor. You're, you're safe. Am I safe? safe. <laughs> Am I safe? Okay. Oh my gosh. What? This Oh. oh, you gotta watch for skunks too. Yeah. That's where we're being. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> well, Walmart was a bust. Uh, I'm gonna have to get very creative with the lunches tomorrow. We have. Oh, it's very dark. I should turn on the lights, but you know, we got bologna <laughs> and we have crackers. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a homemade lunchable situation. Um, milk. None of this was really on my list besides the milk. They had these though. Florence really enjoys these. The strawberry Breton crackers. They're really good. So that's all that was in that bag. Oh, look, I thought I'll try these tonight before I end the vlog, cotton candy Hershey's. I've never had that before. I don't know if they're new. It doesn't say new. I got bread and apples. And that's all I got at Walmart. It's n not what I wanted to get, but it's gonna have to do. I'll do a big grocery order tomorrow. I'm gonna try the Hershey's Cotton Candy. I feel like maybe I've tried this before and I don't even think it's new. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm so frustrated that I wasn't ready for school. Like, ugh, I can't believe I didn't realize <laughs> sooner. Okay, so, oh, I guess I kind of get a cotton candy vibe from it. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I get a little bit of cotton candy, a little bit. To me, it more so tastes like um like a really rich white chocolate. It's really good. But I don't think it tastes like cotton candy. I think it's really good though, but there's just a very small hint of cotton candy flavor, but not much. So out of five, I'd give it a three out of five because it doesn't taste like cotton candy that much, but they're not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I swear we're I'm so just we're not even home. She's not even home. She's out with my sister. So I don't know. <laughs> I have to be like, can you make sure she's home? <laughs> she, it's a school night. But. And Alex was camping. So like, I just feel like I'm all unorganized. Oh, well. It'll come. I don't know how I used to shop on Sundays though at Walmart because... It was empty, like everything was already bought, like picked up. I couldn't believe it. So I'll either make Alex like a bologna sandwich tomorrow or try to make like a homemade Lunchable situation for him. And Florence, she's packing her own. She already knows what she's bringing, but anyway, <laughs> this is... <laughs> Interesting content, I know, but here we are, Sunday night.
before school and I'm like, oh gosh, I've dropped the ball today. I really dropped the ball <laughs> on my organization. <laughs> <laughs> that's how well my meal planning for September goals is going <laughs> but I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys really really soon in my next video